This is a technical, easy language video for TradeStation addressing limit order band rejects, and it is based upon our most recent update to gap continuation in reverse. I'm making a separate technical video showing you an example easy language code, not actual gap continuation in reverse. And so in this video, we're going to show you what is wrong with this code, what you need to do to add it, and how it changes the strategy. So when you look at this code, do you see any problems? You could pause the video right now if you would like. Try to find an issue with this video. You'll get an error in real trading that you won't get in back testing. So it's important to understand what's going on right here in real world trading, why you would get limit order ban rejects, but you wouldn't in the back test. So there's no, no errors in the back test. This compiles completely. The back test is there. Let's take a look at this back test. It's just a simple, basic strategy. Only going back a few months. This is not a recommended strategy, but it's a strategy we're using in this example. So pause the video, find the error, come back when you have the error if you have it. If not, I'll show you what that is now. So the support band is the close of the previous day minus half the previous day's range. The high of the day of one day ago minus the low day of one day ago divided by two subtracted from the previous day's close. And so that number would be um, half this range. The high minus the low subtracted from the close would be down here somewhere. So that's your support band and you would have the, the strategy calls for you to Start taking trades if the time is greater than 10. So the time is greater than 10 right here. So at 10.05, it's going to start generating orders on the next bar to buy at the close, to buy at the support band on a limit. So buy at that support band. What if the support band is above the closing price here by more than the limit band allowed by the exchange, which is about five ticks? Oftentimes, you'll see that. And then... You'll get that order rejected and you won't know why. You'll also get, with this type of code, you can get re-entries on the same bar. And so what I'm about to do is I'm about to fix the code. So you'll get essentially uh, the same type of strategy, but you will not get those order rejects in real time. And so what you need to do in this case is you need to check to see if the strategy is above the support band. You cannot, you cannot place a limit order above for a price above the current market price. And so if you do, you get that reject. You can, you can do it for about five ticks. The, the band is about five ticks. And um, so you add this, add this line of code right here. And then you verify, but something is still missing. Some of those trades disappeared. You still have an incomplete set of code. And so what do you need to do to add the code? Pause the video again. Think about it if you know. And I'll show you here. So you're still missing the trades that occur for the market when it's below the limit or when it's below the support band. If the market is below the support band, you still want to take those trades. You just can't do it with the limit order above the market. So if the close is less than or equal to the support band, then buy those contracts next bar at the market and when I verify this you'll see the trades come back also notice you have to have two different uh, signal names you could use a begin and else else if but I'm just separating these into two different uh, orders right now so you see those come back what you do see also in this case is you're not getting in and out on the same bar so that changes the strategy a little bit um, you see this a slight improvement actually in the overall results when you do this. Um, that was not our goal. Our goal was to um, our goal was to make sure that um, we don't get the limit order re rejects. And so um, you could you could test different things like this at close on a limit, close of the current bar. And you, you more closely match what you had before if you do that. Um, at the close plus one on the stop, sometimes this actually makes the strategy better because if the market keeps going down right away, you don't take those trades that you would at the market. 
So that improves the strategy a little bit. We're not trying to improve the strategy. We're just trying to keep the strategy the same and split the orders up. So you can either enter in on a market, a, a stop, or a limit. And we chose market order right here and with the close being the most accurate because the original strategy used a limit order. So buy next bar at market. So this is this is a change I made in the gap continuation in reverse. It did it changed the strategy very little, very small change in the strategy. And overall, I'll go over that in another video um, on the changes in gap continuation reverse. But I wanted to make a technical video showing the easy language that I couldn't in gap continuation in reverse to make the point of how these two orders are split up. One close greater than the support band. One set of orders close less than or equal to the support band to remove the limit order rejects. Now, I have one additional easy language uh, tip to show you here. And that is what happens if you don't want to, you don't want to get out. Sometimes you don't want to get out. Sometimes um, you'll get out of a strategy and then it'll get in at a higher price. And you're like, well, I didn't, I didn't want to get in at a higher price. I would just rather wait for the market to come back. Shouldn't that be better if I wait for the market to come back? And so one thing you could do, this, this may or may not improve your strategy. And what you can do is you can add this. Entries to day of date is less than one. So on the first, if it's the first trade of the day, you're not really comparing it to any other exit prices. Um, but if it's not, you go to the next statement. Close is less than the exit price of one ago. And I'm going to add this to both of those. And we'll see how that changes the strategy. So it doesn't. It makes this strategy worse. It actually made gap continuation in reverse slightly better. And so um, those are some of the those are some of the things you can do. That's the easy language lesson that I wanted to share with you. Some of the changes I implemented in gap continuation in reverse. These are more uh, order execution techniques and features. And they don't. Um, this is not a strategy that I recommend. It's not a strategy development session for tra actual trading. But a strategy development session, uh, session, session, and easy language for uh, limit order re limit order ban rejects.